Hello, my name is Christine, and welcome to Crafting with Christine. Some of you might already know me. I am a librarian in the Adult Services Department. Uh, right now, we're not able to offer our regular in-person craft programs, uh, so I had the idea of maybe filming me doing a craft from one of the programmers that we usually work with. Uh, I ordered a kit. You can actually get it take home or delivery from MD Design Studios. Some of you may already know Melissa. She does the paint parties that we have at the library. So today I have a beach glass art kit and this is either gonna look like an instructional video or it could look like the show nailed it because I'm not a very crafty person. Uh, so hopefully either way it'll be informative and entertaining and let's go ahead and get started. So here's the kit that I have that was delivered to me. We have our instructions. Some fun decorations to go into our beach glass art. Some smaller decorations. And even smaller decorations. Looks like some glue, some sand, paint. Like I said, I'm not crafty. We have the resin that we're going to use to actually make the glass. And we have the frame with the glass. Now this is a large size kit. I believe she also offers it in different sizes just to give you reference for how big it actually is. As per the instructions, I've already laid down some cardboard uh, on my working surface. She says you can either, either use that or plastic with the idea that you don't want to get stuff all over the place, obviously. And a couple other things to have handy, some glass cleaner and some paper towels. Okay, all right, here we go. Okay, so after we've covered our area, we're gonna lay out the design on the cardboard that comes with the frame. So let's see. Got my cardboard right here. So I guess I'm going to make a design on this using all of these fun things that I have. Starfish. The seashell. I think what I'm going to do is just put these all out. Alright, there's some fun things here. That driftwood looking thing. Sand dollar. And some nice big shells. Ooh, some anchors. A mermaid. sorts of fun things. So it looks like this is going to be a project that, you know, has a little bit of depth to it because a lot of these items are nice and big. So, I have stuff. Uh, it does say not to add the sand or small clear bubbles at this point. Oh, small clear bubbles, sand, so we'll put those to the side. So I guess that means we can go ahead with some of these other things. I'm not sure what these are for, so we'll put those to the side. Okay, I'll take 
take my little anchor guys. These are really cute. says to clean the glass with Windex. That's what the glass cleaner is for. So it's in my frame. I'm just going to do both sides of it. Certainly wouldn't want to have smudges. So now we've come to the resin instruction. This says we're going to mix part A, which is labeled nicely, with part B into our resin cup and slowly stir with the popsicle stick for five minutes. So we're going to mix part A. I guess you don't need gloves here, but if you want to be extra careful, then let me get a few. Let's scrape that out with the pop little stick. So we need all of it. say to mix slowly, which I guess is kind of up to your individual determination on what to go slowly, but I'm just going to go nice and steady but slow, slowly for five minutes. So I also brought down my phone with a timer to just go ahead and time for five minutes. And here we go. Okay, all ready. Resin is mixed. You mix it for five minutes slowly. Kind of done. All right, so let's see what we do next. Pour resin into the middle of the front of the frame. Be sure to do this on the front, not the back side of the frame. Okay, so. Would be the front glass. We're going to pour it into the middle and then we're going to use the playing card which came with our kit to spread out the resin evenly. All right, so let's give that a try. It is a little gooey. So you kind of gotta get in there with your popsicle stick, make sure it all comes out. I feel like I'm making waffles right now. All right. Okay. So we'll take our playing card and go ahead and spread it out evenly. Does look like this is going to make a pretty thin layer. And I'm assuming that's just so we have our resin so that it just needs a little bit of stick for all of our stuff. Now I feel like I'm making brownie. It does look like it's going to be a pretty thin layer, so I don't think you have to worry about getting tons and tons of it in every area of your frame. Okay, I think 
we're done. I think you five are done. Okay. So now we're going to start transferring the pieces of our design piece by piece into the resin. Oh boy. Okay. Big pieces first, then small pieces, then sand and clear beads. Okay. All right. That. I'm going to do at this point since everything is a little bit smaller and I'm obviously not going to want to pick up everything one at a time. I'm just going to try to slide it right off with my cardboard. Into my resin. Kind of sprinkle it on there. So now most of the pieces of my design are out on my resin and we still have these smaller items. So we have our clear beads, which I think I'm just going to sprinkle. It's making me hungry. It's making me think of like cupcakes and bacon. and also some sand, it's a good filler. Especially down here at the bottom with some of these larger pieces. And I guess I'm assuming anything that isn't sticking directly to the resin is just gonna fall off anyway. I'm not too worried about being precise. Okay. All right, great. Then the next step is to allow it to dry flat for 24 hours. It might be done sooner, but don't pick up until the resin feels hard and not tacky at all. Okay, so again, with the magic of video, I'm going to go ahead and let this sit for 24 hours and then we'll come back and we'll see what we have. Okay, hello again, everybody. So this is about 20 hours later, so I haven't waited the full 24 hours, um, but it seems like everything is good to go with my project. Uh, like the instructions had said, you just want to make sure that the resin is not sticky or tacky. It does feel hard. So I think everything should be good to go. And here is my finished project. Pretty cool. Um, when I did first pick it up this morning, when I came down, I just turned it around. Now, a couple of the things fell off because I hadn't really gotten them into the resin. Um, they were just kind of lying on top, so that may happen. Uh, but overall, it looks like almost everything is, is complete. And I love my finished project. Uh, so the only thing that was left over from yesterday were these little vials of paint, uh, white paint. I, I'm guessing that that is if you want to paint the frame white, which would actually be a nice effect. Um, personally, I kind of like the wood, so I'm just going to leave it the way it is. Uh, but that's an option too. You have some paint to do that, 
or if you wanted maybe to paint your your driftwood, uh, that could be an option too. However, you want to make it your own. Uh, so that's it for for this project with crafting with Christine. Uh, let us know in the comments if this is something that you enjoyed. If you'd like to see us do more crafts, we could certainly do that. Um, this craft again was from MD Design Studios. I'll put the information for them in the comments or in the post. Uh, if this is a project that you would like to see us do at the library once we're back, please let us know that as well because we can always make that an in-person class. But in the meantime, while we're all in our homes, um, this is available as a, a delivery kit or as a pickup. So just keep that in mind. If you'd like more information on that, then please visit uh, MD Design Studios and I'm sure they will give you all the information on the various projects that they have. So for us at the library, that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed and thanks for watching.